I'm now going to take you through a practical example of printing a negative. I have a 6x11 negative on medium format, which I'm going to print on my De Vere enlarger. This particular enlarger uses a, a multigrade head, and for this particular head I have a special version of the analyzer. But this basic operation in terms of metering and timing is the same. The only difference is that it controls the grade directly by by altering the, the time between two lamps in the lamp housing. But apart from that, it works like a normal analyzer. So the first thing to do is to take a look at the negative and decide where we should be metering. Now, because I'm in darkroom conditions, you can't see anything with a video camera. So I'm just going to show you the negative and show the two metering spots that we would typically take the meter readings from. And then I'll show you how that makes the final print and in the second part, we'll take that standard print and improve upon it with some, some burning in and metering a pen line around the outside. OK, so I have my negative and I'm going to remove the negative carrier. And in my negative carrier, I have a glass on top and a mask underneath. So the glass keeps the negative flat and because the mask is that much smaller, than the actual um, full 4x5 uh, negative carrier, it allows it to be centered up. So I'm going to pop that back in the carrier and lower the head. I'm now going to turn the lights off, I'm going to focus, and I'm going to center my negative onto a mask. Basically, this is um, a piece of plastic that is cut to the right format for the print, and this will be laid over the top of the printing paper to give a nice clean edge around all four sides. And then later on, I'm going to use the bit of plastic that was cut out of the middle and trimmed down slightly to show you how you can make a very simple uh, penline uh, mask around the outside of the print. So this is going to be centered on my baseboard and it gives me a good guide to focus and get the enlarger working. So I'm going to turn the lights out and I'll get to the point that the negative is on the baseboard and then I'll show you where we meter. Okay, I've got my negative on the baseboard and what I'm going to do is meter two spots. It's a picture of um, an old warship that's moored up um, near a canal and there's a, a little hedge on one side which was quite dark foliage and I'm going to meter uh, the almost clear part of the negative there where the hedge is because I want that to be my dark, dark tones and then there's a sky in the other corner where there's just faint hints of cloud and I'm going to meter those and they're going to be my light end. So I'm going to show those on the screen now so you can see what I'm pointing at and I'll take the two meter readings and then we'll make a print. On the right hand side you can see where the first reading was taken in the bush which just shows details of leaves and on the left hand side one taken in the sky which shows the clouds. Okay, the, uh, the noise you can hear is the fan of the enlarger because the, uh, the amount of power in the bulbs requires a cooling fan. But I've got the two exposure readings for the, the sky and the bushes and I've chosen a grade setting and a time setting that gives it to the ends of the, of the range. I think actually I want the sky to be a little bit darker. So what I'm going to do is slightly alter the grade um, and, and just increase on the uh, exposure a little bit. So I don't really want the bush to be too dark. So I've just come in a little bit from the ends of the scale. I don't really want a soot and whitewash effect. So I'm going to make a print exposure at this setting. Um, with this particular uh, controller, it actually um, controls two light sources through its umbilical cord at the back and produces a grade three and a half print automatically. So I'm going to make a print and we'll see where we get to. Unfortunately, this camera doesn't work um, in darkroom conditions. Uh, the, only the cheap uh, consumer ones do. So what I've done is I've taken the print and I've, um, I've done a standard print development in an overtank. And this is the straight print coming off. And the two areas of concern are this dark bush on the right-hand side where you can still see a little bit of um, uh, texture in the, in the leaves. And on the other side um, was uh, a little bit of sky and I've got just a tiny little bit of tone of the sky up here. Remember that this print is actually a narrow print. The corner of the print is actually here and you can just about make out there's a, a difference in tone between the two. 
Now what we need to do is improve on this print and the next step is to see how we can improve it and I think the best way to do it is to put a pen line around it which will keep the sky from bleeding into the background of the paper and the other is to perhaps tone it in a little bit uh, on the sides and at the bottom to, uh, to, to bring the print uh, closer in together.